go today. Guess where, guys? To the Pride. God called me to go to Pride today. Not to send wrath and judgment onto people because guess what, guys? God is not a God of wrath and judgment. That's just words that, you know, the churches and Christians use to, like, you know, control people. But I'm telling you this, guys, and I just had, like, five prophecies fulfilled. Okay, I can promise you this. Promise you this. God is saying, please love my people. Please love my people. It's Christians and it's religious people that are pushing the LGBTQ people away from God. They're pushing gay people away from God. And there's nothing wrong with it. The Bible was misinterpreted many, many times. The Bible was rewritten like many, many times, hundreds of times. Like they didn't even incorporate like, you know, many, many books into the Bible. And one of the books is the book of Nostradamus. So why wouldn't they incorporate the book of Nostradamus and he got all his prophecies right, even predicting Queen Elizabeth II's death. He predicted her death, guys. So why wouldn't they incorporate that book, you know? So uh, it was Constantine. He saw a cross, you know, on the hill one day. And then he's like, you know what? I'm going to put together a Bible. And let's put together this Bible so that we can control people. Because um, the people are out of hand right now. We just got to control people. And I'm, I'm telling you guys right now, I promise you with all my heart, and you guys already know I'm a Christian. I mean, not, not a Christian. <laughs> um, you guys already know that I got my prophecies right and I got my prophecies fulfilled already. I, I, I don't even know if anybody else is getting their prophecies fulfilled right now. It may just be just me right now because God knows that my heart is pure and my heart is right. And... Um, no, God is telling me things. He's like, incorporate the LGBT community, guys. You guys, it's, it's the religious people that are pushing gay people away. It's toxic religion, toxic Christianity that is pushing gay people away from God and making gay people want to be atheists. It's making the world, you know, there's so many atheists out there because of like hate and persecution and judgment. God is not a God of judgment. He sees humanity as innocent. Because he sees us that, you know, like people do things and they act upon their level of perception and awareness and their level of consciousness. And humanity is a third density. So we are way below the level of consciousness and awareness of the angels and God, you know. So we have a lot to learn. And one of the things that humanity needs to learn right now, right here, I'm telling you 100% right now, you guys need to stop hating and persecuting gay people. It, it is not a sin to be gay. And I even had somebody write in my comment section, like anybody who is hating on gay people or saying that homosexuality is a sin, they're going to be cut off from the Holy Spirit. And I, I, I believe it because nobody else's prophecies are coming true right now. It's only my prophecies are coming true right now. And I do not believe that homosexuality is not sin. You guys are turning people away from God. So God is not a God of like hate and wrath and judgment. He's a God of love and mercy and forgiveness. You know, if we don't get, get it right in this lifetime, we just have to redo it. You know, the people aren't going to be sent to hell or anything like that. We, we're just going to have to redo it. So, something that I really, really want to tell you guys right now is that we just need to literally just love all people. God wants us to love all people. And it is not a sin. It is not a sin to be gay. And I'm telling you this right now, you guys need to stop it. You guys are hurting people. You guys are killing people. And people are taking their own lives because of the hatred and the judgment. And people saying that homosexuality is a sin and it is not a sin. People are taking their own lives because of people like that, you know. So God is saying the judgment needs to stop right now. 
right now today, the hatred needs to stop right now. So that's all I gotta say to you guys. Look. I'm at Gay Pride right now. Love is love. I am a prophet of God, you guys. And God is telling me this. It's not a sin. Okay? You guys need to stop acting all holy and perfect and acting like your life is perfect. And you need to stop acting like you're this fake, perfect, holy person of God. And you know on the weekends you go and then you go get drunk and wasted and everything. So stop being hypocrites. Um, imagine if the tables were turned, okay? Imagine if the tables were flipped right now. And God said, you know what? The way is homosexuality. He wants everybody to be gay, okay? So imagine if you're a man and God's like, the way to go to heaven is to be with a man. You need to be gay. And imagine if you're a straight woman and God is like, you need to be a lesbian right now to go to heaven. Would you go, if you were a man, would you go be with the guy? And if you're a woman, a straight woman, would you go be with the woman? If God told you so. Imagine if the tables were turned, guys. Imagine. Alright, so that's the important message I need to tell you guys. Sorry, I work 60 hours a week. I'm a little bit tired right now. But that's something I need to tell you guys, okay? You guys need to stop. As a prophet of God, you guys need to stop it right now. God wants unity, love. God is a God of love, forgiveness, unity. That's what he is. He's not a God of hate, wrath, judgment. So... God says stop it right now, okay? Or you're going to be cut off from the Holy Spirit. Alright, I'll see you guys later.